Hi, today we are going to talk about diabetes insipidus. Before that, let's look some details about ADH or vasopressin. Antidiuretic hormone is secreted by posterior pituitary in response to the increased osmolarity of the extracellular fluid. You can see here some endosomes which store aquaporin to water channels. ADH in the bloodstream binds to the V2 receptors in the collecting ducts of the kidneys and causes a rapid tra translocation of the aquaporin to water channels into the apical membranes of the principal cells. So the water moves through these water channels, then we can call it the water permeability of the collecting ducts of the kidneys is now increased. Diabetes means passing more urine. Insipidus means tasteless. Diabetes insipidus means passing tasteless urine in large amounts. Diabetes insipidus is caused by either deficiency of esopressin or insensitive to its actions. So there is a problem with the water reabsorption of the kidney and it may result to loss of water from the body. The patient will dehydrate and will drink more and more water. Diabetes insipidus leads to pass excessive amount of urine, polyuria, extreme thirst, polydyspia, waking frequently through the night to urinate, nocturia, There are two types of diabetes insipidus, cranial and nephrogenic. In cranial type, pituitary production of the ADH is decreased. And in nephrogenic type, the genes for V2 receptors and aquaporin 2 water channels are muted. So collecting duct is insensitive to or fail to respond to the ADH. Doctors perform water deprivation tests to the patients with polyuria to diagnose or exclusion of the diabetes insipidus because some other conditions like hysterical polydyspia also produce polyuria. Here the patient is kept deprived of fluids for 8 hours. During this time, plasma osmolality is measured for hourly. Urine volume and its osmolality is measured in every two hours. Serum osmolality becomes more than 300 milliosmoles per kilogram. Then the patient has diabetic insipidus. So now you know that he has diabetic insipidus. Then we are going to identify the type. What type of diabetes insipidus? He has. To this, we perform desmopressin test. Here, we administrate desmopressin as an intranasal spray to the patient. Desmopressin is a synthetic analog of vasopressin, which also act on V2 receptors in collecting ducts to perform an antidiuretic effect. After the administration, if the clinical features are corrected, there is a problem with the production of the vasopressin, its cranial type. But if the type of the diabetes insipidus is nephrogenic, the clinical features are not corrected because collecting ducts of kidneys is insensitive to vasopressin as well as its synthetic analog desmopressin. So that is something about diabetes insipidus. Thank you for watching and let's meet again from another video.